Hi everyone, this is Jim Walker with Jim Walker Archery and today we're going to talk about making uh, gap training tape. Now I have my old tape over here as you can see and uh, it's getting old and ragged so I'm going to build another one but all I have is some old Gorilla tape and uh, a white paint marker. So we're going to try it and see what happens. So the whole idea here is that as you test your different ranges uh, you find a spot, in my case is this right here, I'm going to use this little line and I'm going to put my tape up and it's going to go up a foot or two and a down foot or two and I'm going to use that to learn the distance uh, that I'm going to create my set my gap for uh, that I'm going to shoot and hit the center of the target. Okay so go ahead and start with the uh, duct tape. I'm just going to grab a piece, let's do, oh I don't know, a big chunk. About that long and then we're going to do another equal size chunk and then we're going to put them together. Disaster waiting to happen, right? There you go, simple as that. All right, so we have this nice double-sided tape here. Probably get some scissors and make it all pretty, but that's pretty much the idea. Doesn't matter how pretty it is. The whole idea is you're just going to put lines on it, and you're going to shoot on it or shoot next to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is to take this. This is going to be the center here. Take my nails out and. Great. Okay, so our, our general goal here is to hit the center of the target, right? So let's get our pin, set it up. Alrighty, and then we get a ruler, in that case I don't have a ruler but I have tape. I know that my tape's every three inches, so three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. Always measure twice, right? So that's actually twelve inches below the target. Now, for me, when I shoot a ten-yard target, ten-yard range, my point. Point is going to be 12 inches below. So I know this from experience. So 12 inches is here. So if I aim here, then I know that I'm going to hit here. Now, if I didn't know my, my gap for 10 yards, uh, then I would just keep shooting at the bottom, up, up, up until I find it, and then I would know that my gap is 12 inches. That's really all gap is about. And you can do this out to even 40 yards uh, very accurately. Set this tape up. Now I'm using black tape, but you can certainly get orange tape like I have here with black marks uh, and build your own little gap training tape. So let's go ahead and fill it out. Center. Six inches. So I have 12 inches, 6 inches, and you can continue this. You can break it down into 9 inches and 3 inches if you want to get that accurate. But generally speaking, go out to about a foot, maybe 2 feet down, a foot, and maybe 2 feet. So now that we've set up our tape, now we're going to test our gap. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the point of my arrow 
well below one foot to demonstrate my gap. I'm going to put the point of my arrow here, and I know that my gap is one foot at 10 yards, which means my arrow is going to get right about here. So again, at 10 yards, I put my point of my arrow here, and they all hit about here, which is about, about a foot up. So what I'm going to do next is now that I know that my uh, when I put the point down, it's going to hit 12 inches above, I'm going to put my point of my arrow at 12 inches, and hopefully we'll hit the center of the target. So, that's the power of gap shooting. It's as simple as that. I use the veil, I use the tape to get my distances, and then when I go to the course, I know that if I'm shooting at 10 yards, I simply put my arrow point 12 inches below, and bada boom, all dead center right on the target. And you can do this, like I said, out to 40 yards, uh, get a longer tape, and uh, play around with the, the distances. Other things that I'll do is when I'm at the range, uh, it, I know that the known height of a bale, for example, is like 30 inches. So you can use the known height of things to get a good estimate of uh, inches up and down. It's a great way just to train on the range and get used to using gap shooting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.